Family that prays together stays together. I'm Father Joseph Owari of the Congregation of Holy Cross. I'm very happy to begin this series of celebrating Mary with Peyton, with you, right from Holy Cross Family Ministries, Dandora. Today, we celebrate the solemnity of the Assumption of Mary, which falls every year in August on 15th. This is one of the six days which we call holidays of obligation in the Catholic Church. The others are 1st of November when we celebrate the solemnity of all saints in the whole world. 8th December when we celebrate the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception. 25th December we celebrate the Nativity of our Lord Jesus Christ. 1st January we celebrate Mary as Mother of God and finally the Thursday of the sixth week of Easter we celebrate the Ascension of our Lord Jesus. The Assumption of Mary is a dogma within the Catholic Church. Other dogmas of Mary include Divine Motherhood of Mary, Theotokos, Theotokos. The other one is perpetual virginity of Mary. The Immaculate Conception is the fourth. All these express truths about the life, role, and nature of Mary for us as believers, but also in the history of our salvation. As a dogma, it proposes a truth contained in divine revelation, grounded in scripture, to help us understand the mysteries of God in our lives. It has a very high binding factor for every Catholic Christian. The dogma of the Assumption of Mary was declared so by Pope Pius XII in 1950 in his encyclical called Munificentissimus Deus. What did he express in this encyclical? He said, by assumption is meant that Mother Mary was assumed into heaven, body and soul, leaving behind her earthly life. It is the departure of Mary from earthly life and assumption of her body into heaven. My dear brother and sister, as we celebrate this day, we celebrate mother as a pure, perfect creature of God. It's the assumption offers us a reflection as a prime reward of Jesus for the fidelity of her mother to the will of God his Father. It is a sign of hope for us in the resurrection to come for us as we live our lives. The Assumption of Mary is an invitation for us to live holy, honest, and pure lives in our bodies. How can we celebrate this today? We may not have processions, apparently given the social distancing factor, but at home, in our family, let's pray the rest of it. Let us also, where possible, attend the Mass, personally or on video. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed among women and blessed is the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. O Mary, assumed into heaven, pray for us. The family that prays together stays together. 